What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Judd. Welcome back to Mortal Kombat 1. Today, we are playing Chapter 3, Chosen 1. I just looked through how many fights there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fucking fights in this chapter. Oh, my lord. I think... Think I this is... You're this is reading, I think. Imbecile. You have no idea with whom you're dealing. No. Uh, that's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Why the angle? Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. God of fire. Well, that last one tracks. But what's an earth realm? All will be explained, John Cage. Mm. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. Rise. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives. Ooh, tournament. I like it. Okay, weak swan. Yep, step three, chosen one, reading. This is a weak swan. Um, stone. I think that's what it is. I could be wrong. But I saw something that looks similar to that, that wooden mechanism. To work on like four of them. Yes, I don't know. That is not a good idea. It is genius, Raiden. The next time we see Sub Zero, I will have to thank him for inspiring it. See, you won't be effective. Maybe it's too effective. <laughs> we just need to get on with it. We've been cooped up here for months. Months? I can't base a cinematic universe on Outworld's monsters and magic if I don't ever see them. That's why you're here? Liu Kang said this gig would change the arc of my life. That's how it gets done. My aunt's will rue the day she gave up on me. <sighs> so selfless. Oh, please, Tattoo. You're just here to get your sword back. We all have our reasons for being here. Some better than others. But we are not here to fight among ourselves. We are here to fight for Earthrealm. It's about damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't our world fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage. And it is Outworld's turn as host. You know, I don't know why I've never asked this, but, uh... <laughs> what's our record at this tournament? Earth realm and Outworld have long been evenly matched. Evenly? But Outworld has gained strength. Damn. Should it win, its more militant factions will be emboldened. Mm. I thought you admired Outworld. It is a place of great knowledge, wealth, and beauty. Okay. But our realms do not share goals and beliefs. We coexist peacefully because Outworld respects our strength. Should we show weakness, our rival will become our enemy. Damn. I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. First, you must win the right to represent us. Whichever one of you outlasts the others will be chosen. This is fucking MK the original all over again. That's why it's gonna be a long one, because of this small. There's two tournaments. I remember now. You fight in here and you fight in Outworld. We know. Technically, it's more so like a Dania. But. Um, Remember, farm boy, I'm a global martial arts icon. 
I don't think you can handle this much boom. But I like the boom. I am ready, Johnny Cage. My mind and spirit fight this one. Epic of damage. Damn! Wow, that's a lot of fluctuation. See, what the fuck? <laughs> You didn't even win. Shut up. There we go. This fight was an honor. I like sportsmanship. You're welcome. Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. With a sword, too? The stare. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in the heart. It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Fight! That's a lot of swords, buddy. Can I take one? Probably not, because swords not my thing when it comes to playing as Raiden. But the fucking one move that I have in this entire move set for this one character is pretty tragic. And I can't even amplify it. I shouldn't have taken you lightly. I won't do it again. Fight! Yeah, I'll just do that to you. Yeah, I'll just do that too. Okay, you got me good there. Beautiful. Do you still question my nerve? I do not. Yours was a well-earned victory. You may rest, Rain. This evening, you will face your final opponent. Ooh, well, the brothers. Why does Kung Lao look so 50 bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. <laughs> Not on your life. Raiden, Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earth Realm against Outworld. It is a grave duty. Not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person win. <laughs> Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change. Fight! Damn! Yeah, let me just teach you the one move that I know, and that is my freaking cartwheels. 
Which in real life, I don't even know how to even do cartwheel kicks. Let alone trying to figure out how to even get enough momentum to a full on cartwheel without looking so half ass. Ah, uh, don't double jinx that. You lightly kicked me and I fell asleep. What the fuck? You want to display your head, you did. It was the first time for everything, Kung Lao. So that was... Third match? Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome yeah, Johnny, does not surprise me. Inchi, and... How could I have... Congratulations, Raiden. For the tournament, you will need this. Amulet. Forged by the Elder Gods, gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead, try it. Send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be. Oh, it is Outworld. That was a damn for some reason. reason. Sickness, yeah. Princess no, because I remember her specifically with Sheen, but that's not until you play as Kenshi, as you want to say. And Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you. So I keep telling myself how many we can do because it's so in MKX it was always four fights. This, like yeah, the first two were four fights. This one fluctuates to seven fights. What the hell? So I'm trying to like get used to this fluctuation, like I'm. Oh no. 
yeah, this is going to be quite interesting. So, also I have ADHD, so of course, you know, my YouTube brain is going to be like, hold on. Oh, not Kanadas. The most described them, but seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire Princess. I do not judge. As did all of our world, I value greatly Jared's first. King Jared's dead even in this time? That's sad. You know, it would have been cool to really see King Jared. Like, the only time we really saw like King Jared would have been Ermex ending MK9. And a little bit MK11. With Sindel's ending. That's it. Really. First constable, our route was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, Your Highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Ooh. Police? Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. Ooh. Why does that remind me of Gru's house a little bit? That looks nothing Already like Gru's house. <laughs> for no purpose, really. From the Spiggle. But the tournament, if I lose, focus on your actions, not the outcome. True. It is all you can control. That is true. You, you know, even though this game is like fictitious, like some of these lines that Liu Kang's saying, these are some. These are some heavy, heavy quotes. I've never really told this, but I am a rap battler. I've been over 20 battles. I am a flawless champion. Last time I did it, it a few months ago, it was against my my own student, Vinny Box. You know him. And then I've made quite a bit of music together. No mistake. Welcome. Members of the Alright, I wonder who the four Welcome, our esteemed four warriors. guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy. To continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. The living forest? Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land. Here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. Not a nog, just that's facts. 
even in culinary, like, I'm a culinary student, you know, I've been doing service lately at a restaurant, Polaris, in Middleburg Heights. Yes, that's where my trade school is at, because I'm doing career tech school. That's not just my associate school in Homestead Falls. It's, it's not easy. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Lucane. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully. Alright, we're on our first fourth battle. Victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Fight. Finally, we actually got stuff. Jesus. <laughs> what, are you, what can you do? Okay. I like that. I kind of messed that up, but... Oh, I'm trying to figure out, because I know I've seen this on the internet, where you can do like an entire circle. What? Yeah, was that Sindel's voice? I pressed the wrong button. No, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna give up on that. It just gets you fighting. Blast. Thank you for the match, First Constable. So sad. My compliments waiting on a well fought match. We'll see how you fare in the next. General Shao, whom have you chosen as our next competitor? Your Majesty, I've chosen Reiko, my second in command. As a boy, Reiko was orphaned during the Kafala War. Though captured, his spirit remained unbroken. He scratched, clawed, and survived. Damn. After the war, I took him in. Molded him into the perfect soldier. Few others are as well versed in the ways of war. <laughs> yeah, so close. In whose army have you served? What wars have you fought? I have done neither. Then you are woefully unprepared, Earthrealmer. This will be your last battlefield. Fight. That was our shit, man. I'm just trying to remember this shit. Again. My memory. Shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Maybe just focus on that. There we go. Felled by a simple farmer. I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. The banquet? Banquet or penguin? Oh yeah, I, I do remember his real name, Robert. Are you unwell, princess? Uh, I'm fine, Tanya. Hmm. I know I need to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Ungadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses. Selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. But the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age. The memories of that strife still linger. My husband, Jared, believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be one different champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a bill for you all. That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission. You may go. Damn, his man. It is bad enough we may lose to the Earth Rammers, but then you go and drunkenly insult them? You needlessly stain my honor and your family's proud military tradition. May I speak freely, Your Majesty? Again with this? If you must. We must act on the sorcerer's prophecy. He warns that Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. And his predictions are usually impeccable. But I've no proof of Liu Kang's ill intent. His interventions have kept Outworld at peace for centuries. He herds us into compromises, shackles our independence. If we could lead our enemies in battle, we'll take- You would consign us to endless war. Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. If I see evidence of the prophecy's accuracy, we will act. But only then, and only at my command. Did not your illustrious father teach you that war is the last resort, not the first? He did, your majesty. Do not forget that, General. Damn, you've become the dagger self. Maybe you should get rid of those titties and grow dick. Come. You asked to see us? 
I saw what happened this evening. Ugh, there was nothing. It was something I ate. Was it? I can't chance it, can I? If you fight tomorrow, the symptoms of your disease could manifest. Katana will take your place. What? There are already whispers she should replace me as your heir. This will make them screams! Your illness is your fault. Why you left the palace that night unattended is still beyond me. I just needed time alone, away from all this. I never thought that... Th That's your problem, Melina. You never think. Damn. A mother is only trying to protect you, sister. If your disease becomes known, you will be banished to the wastes. For you to hold a throne, we must keep your secret. Oh, that's sad. Here we go. You continue to surprise Raiden. Among others, you have defeated Koto, Motaro, and Shiva. Oh, Koto Khan, and Motaro, Shiva. and Shiva? Are you ready, Earthrealmer? I am, Your Majesty. Then next, you face my daughter, Katana. Your Majesty. This is unprecedented. Raiden's next opponent should be your heir. Melina is unavailable. She's away on pressing Imperial business. But I am not prepared him to battle Katana. He's already demonstrated great skill. That is true. Can he not improvise? Do not worry. I can do this. Very well. I will be no easier to fight than my sister, Earthrealmer. I suffer under no such delusion, your highness. I will win this fight. For her, my empress, and all of Outworld. Fight. Could have been a cool comic. Fall is victory. Let's go. Ho ho ho. Yes. Fight. That was. What the fuck? Oh, I did a three, like a 180 kick, some shit. Uh oh. Look, I fooled you. You fight well, princess. As do you, Earthrunner. Surprisingly so. I hope we meet again under different circumstances. It's time for the final match. Yes. Thank you. It's Thank you for reminding me. Abilities that you've made it thus far. But now you must face General Shao. Oh. <laughs> Victor of the Davarian War. Conqueror of the Quatan Plains. Defender of the Nabala Coast. As has his family for What do you do Nabala Coast? Did you do like this? Nevada Coast? The Nevada? Nevada Coast? This is Nevada Coast, motherfucker. I don't know, like, if, if the Nevada Coast was, like, a gangster land, like, is that the gang sign you do? I don't know. What? Another flawless victory. 
There we go. Uh, isn't this your realm? Thank you, bestie. It's over. I have done it. Yes, you have. And that is the end of the episode. Why do I sound like Luke King myself? Damn. Anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, please stay tuned for the next video. Before I get to, if you enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, listen to more of my music, watch more of my episodes, and more of my long plays. If you enjoyed this episode, please stay tuned for the next episode. Bye-bye.